How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day, week, and month. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Saj. And thank you for all the birthday wishes last week. Yeah, I love y'all so immensely. I love y'all. I just want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, y'all. Thank you. Y'all really made my day. I just want to give y'all a hug. <laughs> I love y'all, and I thank God for y'all. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So, Sag, at the bottom, you have rebuilding. So, you could be connecting to a Sag, um, not a Sag, well, another Sagittarius, or you could be connecting to a Scorpio, okay? You could be needing to look at the Scorpio reading that I did yesterday. Or you could have Scorpio, like, highly aspected in your birth chart, like me. You know, I'm a Scorpio sun, but I'm a Sag rising. Y'all know big Sag, the biggest. <laughs> but for real, like, you could be needing to go check out that Scorpio reading, though. There could be a message that's in that reading that is specifically for you. So go check that out. With rebuilds here, you're definitely rebuilding different aspects of your life, okay? This could also have to do with your heart chakra, because I'm seeing here you have two cards that, like, you're really protecting your heart. So you could be healing your heart at this time, or there could have been certain situations that could have really impacted your, like, emotional well-being your heart chakra, your heart space, how you love, how you receive love, how you view love, okay? God could have put you through certain situations so that you can not only just learn yourself but master yourself and master your heart space so that nobody can manipulate you. Nobody can play on it, okay? Literally, because that's how you manifest, not through your mind, through your heart. Right now, it's definitely important for you to find balance, and you could be finding balance in different areas and different aspects. For someone here, you could be getting ready to get pregnant, okay? Pregnancy is here. This is a baby, or this could be you, like, expanding in regards to your family, like, meeting someone that may have children, or vice versa. This could also be you gaining more knowledge in your life. With this book of knowledge, you could be a teacher, or you could be someone who's really studious, or you could be, like, literally gaining knowledge, like, wanting to learn more about your family lineage, wanting to learn more about the society and the world, wanting to learn more about, like, you know, animals or nature or just like be becoming a humanitarian or an advocate. It's just like you're gaining more knowledge in different ways. You're also letting God guide you towards the things that he wants you to focus on. Okay. At this time, it's also an importance around your food, what you are eating, what you are drinking, what you are like feeding yourself, like not only just with like with music and with entertainment, with TV, with books, but also in regards to like nourishing your soul, nourishing your vessel, nourishing the body that holds your soul, your most precious gem. This is also you learning more about time management. So you're not playing with your time anymore. Okay. I also see here, there could be a focal point around self-love. You could be buying yourself flowers or just, you know, there could be, you could be creating beauty, beautiful moments around you within your environment or just overall within your life. You could just be taking things slow and just really taking time to smell the coffee, smell the roses. Someone's name could be Rose or someone could have like a flower name like Daisy or Lily, okay, something like this, or Rose. <clears throat> that song, Call Me Rose, could be significant. And also, I was channeling on y'all energy, and that song, Return of the Mac, came through. So that song is significant too for y'all. Some of you could be from New York, either you or someone that you are connected to. Okay, it's also given like, I'm not sure if you wanted, you could have like this morning, the, the other download they came in was about disappointment. So I'm not sure if there's a four, five, six on a timer. I'm not sure if there's a situation in regards to a person, place, environment, a career, whatever it is, a living situation, whatever it is that you just feel like you're not satisfied or you're disappointed around the outcome. This could even be around something that you invested money into. Like literally, like you could have paid somebody to do a job and they ain't do nothing that you wanted them to do. And you could be pissed off about it. Okay. Like it could be situations around this as well. There's also a situation around contracts. Okay, either rereading contracts or somebody trying to manipulate a contract by trying to get over on you and you like 
not being swindled. Like this is also somebody viewing you as like being very innocent or meek or viewing you as not being like street smart in a way and trying to like manipulate you or try to get more money out of you and won't like, but you're going to, you're going to see it. Like, I don't know if this is for like, <laughs> this would just be for one person that's watching, but somebody here is like, you really are like unveiling, ooh, unveiling the mask on regards to people at this time. This is also bringing you back towards more of a place of self-love, like giving back to you. For someone here, there is a high level commitment or marriage that's getting ready to come in with this ring. You could be getting ready to be engaged to someone, or this is a high level relationship that's coming your way. There's a lot of different opportunities that's getting ready to begin for you, Sagittarius. So get ready, all right? The number 15 could be significant, the number two, the number four, the number 16, okay? The number 51, the number 61. Six, six could be significant as well. No, not six, 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 seven. February could be significant. April could be significant. June could be significant. July. Okay, let's move forward. What else does Sag need to know? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Okay. The truth. The truth is coming out. The truth will be revealed. Somebody has been trying to lie to you and the truth is getting ready to come out regardless of the fact. Okay. There's also some type of like, you're going to end up uncovering some type of lie with, by being truthful or by being honest or by just being 10 steps ahead, by being able to see somebody or see the truth of a situation or within some type of knowledge. And it's going to bring in a transformation to you. Butterflies could be significant as well at this time. Yeah. You're going to learn how to release something. Or you could be working on releasing something or letting something go. Scorpionic energy, yeah. You could also be healing your, your shadow. Or this could be you releasing people that just work out of their shadow self. Like they don't want to heal. They don't want to evolve. They don't want to work on themselves. They don't want to surrender to God's plan. They just want to work out of their ego and their pride. You could be letting go of people like this. Like enough is enough. Like these are also individuals or situations that you could have kept along your path thinking that like it was going to give you a good direction and you were helping people in regards to their direction. But these could be uses and abuses that you could be releasing or letting go of. You're finding the truth about certain people, Sagittarius. This is also you having safe travels moving forward. Like whatever direction you're choosing to go towards it's going to work out for you and your highest good you're safe regardless of what direction you choose okay things could also be happening around this full moon energy so check the date in regards to when the full moon is but something's coming full circle from your past life you have been here before <clears throat> your soul is very special which is why you have so much protection over your life okay like for real for real the heavens don't play about you sag so you don't play about you, okay? There's definitely someone that's doing spell work on you and you're being protected. This could be a masculine doing this or a feminine. This could be someone that's doing um, magic on like your divine masculine or your divine feminine, or you could be a divine masculine or divine feminine. And someone's trying to spell, they're trying to send spell work your way. This could be even a water sign or your divine masculine or feminine could be a water sign or they could have water sign placements, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But regardless of the fact, it's going to be blocked. Okay, you may intuitively know this. You could be someone who's really, really psychic or really tapped in. Okay, really gifted. Okay, you could be a reader, a reader, clear audience, clear essence, clear cognizant. Okay, you get those signs, you get those downloads. The number 48 could be, this is also you needing to pay attention to your dream state and just the downloads that you're receiving throughout the day in regards to certain interactions that you have with people because spirit ain't never gonna lie to you, Sag, okay? Your intuition ain't never gonna lie to you. This is also the numbers 29, 92, 48, 84, the number one, 43, 34, the number 30, the number 42, 24, the number 25, 52 could be significant, the number seven, the number six is here, the number three, the number seven is here, the number one, the number 12, December is here, 11, the number um, November is here. Any of these dates or months could be significant to you, okay? December, January, July, March, June, Okay, any of those months or dates could be significant to you. What else does Sag need to know about what's going on? Okay, so yeah, you are a messenger. You definitely could speak out for a living. 
okay? Or the things that you say deem to be truthful. They deem to be real. They deem to be honest, okay? Yeah, you're not in an imprisonment. You're not stressed out because you know that you speak the truth and you know God is truthfulness. The devil is lies, trickster, energy, confusion, manipulation. You don't stand for that, Sage. Or somebody could have said that you stand for this and now this person, whatever they said that you're going through, you're not. You're not in no type of mental breakdown, mental imprisonment. You could be cleansing your energy, saging your house, and saging your space, okay? Meditation could be significant as well. This is also you removing ne negativity around you. In regards to poisonous individuals, unhealthy attachments, people, a mindset, way of being, whatever this is. People that don't know how to release things that do, on, do not align with them. You're letting it go, high priestess. Male or female, you're tapping into your inner high priestess. You're tapping into your inner intuition. You, Sag, you the biggest, like for real, for real. Somebody here intuitively, like you feel like somebody doesn't know how to make sacrifices or they don't want you to sacrifice them. With sacrifice came out in the reverse. Okay, somebody's trying to trap you, Sagittarius. Okay, either with pregnancy, trying to get pregnant by you, trying to tie to your business or your money or your bank accounts or by your heartstrings, okay? Then you have the sun that's here. God is going to make sure that everything gets exposed. Illuminated clarity comes in so that healing could come in, okay? Yeah, so that success could come in with the six of wands. You could get a lot of attention. You could be someone that is like people look up to as an inspiration or as admiration, or you could be like someone who is like you're very well known, very well respected in society. You do something that's really impactful, or you just get a lot of attention and get a lot of praise, recognition, rewards that's coming your way with the ten of cups. You will have success in love. Okay, you will have success in love. There's going to be an emotional relationship or some type of mending that could be taking place within your family unit that could be coming about as well. Right now, you could just be focusing on self, just being by yourself, focusing on your craft. Okay, there's also a Libra that's in your energy that sees that you're listening and trusting your intuition. And this person feels that they have to confess to you. But be mindful because this Libra is being utilized by down below. Okay, they want some type of control. They want to weigh you down. This could be someone in your family or someone that you could have wanted to create a family with. Right now, at this time, you could be single, happily single or happily dating, or you're about to be in a really divine connection. Either you could be with someone at this time, you could be leaving singlehood and just getting into a new relationship, but whoever this is, is someone here that is, is genuine. They're aligned with their morals, values, beliefs, things that you stand on and for. Okay, literally be mindful of certain lovers that you may have to choose around that could just be wanting to screw you. Certain people just look at you as like a good time. They want to keep you as a, a, a secret and on the down low, okay? Like these could be people that are on the down low secretly or they just don't want to, they want to have like private relationships. You need to ghost these people, block them, cut them off, leave them alone, okay? You already learned certain lessons as well. No more repeating past lessons at all. 13, 13 on the timer as I said this, okay? Talking about you, Sagittarius. You are most definitely protected. You're giving earth angel energy. Okay, your energy, Pisces, is here as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn is here with the devil. The lovers is here, Gemini energy. Somebody is obsessed at how peaceful you are, how patient, how you do things in moderation, how you're a healer, how you heal others, how you could be really intelligent, okay, really humble, how you give off wife or husband energy, how you're someone that's very patient, you're really strong-willed, you are very classy, okay, the number 14 could be significant, 41. The number five, May, February could be significant. Someone here is obsessed at like how you are, the way you move. This is like a really dark energy that wants you to be codependent on them or that's codependent on you. What's this codependency about? This could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? That sees that you're a star. But this is someone that wants to create drama for like your fame, your fortune, your purpose. With, with you like having a renewal and like your faith, feeling more hopeful about life, about God, about your faith, about your spirituality, about your religious beliefs. Somebody here wants to cause chaos to this. Okay, literally. They're also obsessing over who you're going to choose to be in love with or who you're going to choose to build life with, with the two of cups, because they want to trap you. Like whoever this is, they want to they wanna trap you. It's, it's not about the love with this person. Either you could be in a relationship with this person at this time and already finding out like this is not your person or this could be someone that you is like actively trying to pursue you or get you to think about them. And it's because they want you to be trapped in the relationship with them. And God is not trying to have it with the tower. It would be a backfire or something's about to be exposed and eradicated. Okay, what's the two of cups about? It's heavy Scorpio energy. Yeah, whatever this offer is. What's the two of cups about? Mm -mm. The love affair. Like somebody here 
be very mindful because somebody's wish is to get you like to keep you as a secret to be sleeping with you on the side but to still act like they're single or to still be able to do what they want okay this could even be someone that's married this could be like for real or someone that could have spoken to you about marriage before heavy Taurus energy this is someone that's trying to pray or they could be acting like they're trying to pray or they could be acting like they want your forgiveness but it's only because they don't want you to cut them off you could drive a luxury vehicle or they do someone drives a bentley a bmw a porsche a audi a beamer a benz this person's reminiscing about good times with you about you empress okay or emperor but that's that mm -mm -mm. this ain't that and that ain't this spirits like be mindful yeah you have already dropped this individual. You know that somebody's a complete opposite of you. And this is a time where you're beginning to realize who you are. So you're breaking into purpose. Okay, there go that Scorpio energy. You could also be coming in contact with a Scorpio. This could be someone that you have children with or someone that you could be having like a reconciliation with. Okay, there's a spiritual union that's coming about at this time. A spiritual union a soul contract that you could be building either this person's going to bring out a youthful energy with you this could be your emperor your divine masculine or your divine feminine coming in okay this could be a scorpio you could have scorpio highly aspected but whoever this person is they want to reconcile there is a spiritual union there yeah this is your twin flame for someone here most definitely this is a high level soulmate. this is your twin this is the other half of you okay there's also a capricorn that's here that you should not take a leap of faith with Okay, I don't know. Or this could be an Aquarius that you should not take a leap of faith with. This person obsesses over the fact that you are a healer and they work out of their shadow self. So be very mindful, Sad. Just like you have a choice. Okay, there could be a lot of delays around a Virgo as well for someone here or a Pisces. This could be someone that's trying to mirror your energy. They're trying to manifest off of you because they know that the ass is forbidden or the love there is forbidden or it's toxic. Go in a new direction. Talking about you, Empress. You got people from your past that are recalling, missing you, wanting to spend time with you, wanting to reconnect with you, wanting to see where what's going on with you. They want to pop up on you, pop up on your house. Okay, surprise, pop up on you, an un unexpected visit at your job or whatever this is, unexpected message. They want to get back into your energy. They want to be on hot pursuit of you again. Okay, these are people that want to get back into like being like known as like a family or wanting to create a family with you. But these could be people that you have a past with or you may have known from your past that want to talk to you okay they also don't want you to move away from them if you could be if if you're thinking about a move or asking people should you move certain people are going to say no okay these are people that look at you as their vacation they look at you as their getaway their hideaway their as a place that they could disconnect from these are also people that are really threatened that you could be really intuitive or empathic you could be a high priestess a reader you may work with god they either could have gotten a reading done or they know that you get readings done or they know that you are a reader and you really get that you're really good at it. And they scared of it a little bit. Like, it's something like that going on here too, Sag. Okay, let's jump to the tarot. Yeah, it's somebody that's going to be heartbroken. Or you could be experiencing heartbreak at this time with the three of swords. Either somebody's heartbroken over you, okay? There could be like an earth sign that's heartbroken, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a Libra. Or you could be heartbroken over a situation with someone that you could have like had children with or you could have like had like mm, a contract with money tied to, okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Your money is taken off those Sag. Your money's about to take off. What's the Queen of Pentacles about? Because this is giving like thriving energy. Like this is giving lux energy. This is giving you could buy what you want, eat how you want, move how you want, travel where you want, do what you want, okay? And you could afford it. Like ain't nobody stopping you. Ain't nobody's holding that up. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, celebratory energy. Okay, look at this. God is making sure that there's no type of shady energy that you're heading towards at all, at all. <clears throat> at all. You can most definitely be getting ready to connect to a water sign for someone here. It could be same sex. That's about to, like, you could be same sex relationship. You don't have to, but it is here. You have a lot of people that, like, adore you, Sagittarius. Like, these are, like, friends, family members, people that you don't even know with the Three of Cups, people that just want to know you. They want to know who you are. They want to celebrate with you. They want to be around you. They think you're really fun. They think that you got a bag. They think that you're, like, 
you know, really, really highly respected in society or you take care of yourself, you look good, you smell good, you take care of your kids or your family or things are always like, you know, how they need to go. People like, mm, they see that you have like a very blessed life or this is what you're heading or this is what you are creating. You're also a very hard worker with the sun and the five of swords is here in the reversal. God is making sure like, there's, this is also a situation where you need to be mindful of people that are trying to smile in your face right now because they see that you're living this lavish life where you have money, male or female. And these are people that could have been shisty to you before and God exposed it, but now they want to play in your face and love on you. Okay, so be very mindful of this too. Listen to your intuition and better judgment, okay? Especially about taking leap of faiths with people, okay? But I do see here you you are getting ready to take a leap of faith. And this is something that your intuition is guiding you towards. It's going to make you really happy, Sag. Like something's going to make you really happy. What's the three of cups about? This, you know, the strength card. You're about to have your like airtight group of friends. Okay, so for someone here, you could have like business colleagues that you could hang out with, or these are people like that may work in your field, or these could just be friends. And like you could have like you could be getting ready to create if you don't have this already, a really like airtight like friendship group with someone. Okay, this is really dope. Like this is really cool. Heavy Leo energy is here as well in Earth. Okay, heavy Scorpio is here as well. Gemini is here. These are like soulmates that are coming in. You could be questioning whether or not like how, like these are familiar energies that are getting ready to come in. And these are not people that are going to try to trap you in any way. It's going to be a very freeing, freeing connection or freeing like friendship group. This may be different than you've ever had before too, Sagittarius. Like this is a very unique type of dynamic that's about to happen. And I'm not getting yes men people either. Like I'm getting people that have their own lives, but it's something about how you either have helped them or you've impacted them in one way, shape, or form. 22, 22 on the timer. 222 two, two could be significant as I look up. That's so cool. Like these are people that like you you've impacted before. Or like they wanna be in your life. Like they wanna, they wanna love on you. They wanna give you that good energy. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, it's going to be really successful. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's going to be a lot of attention around this. Like, there's there's no type of fighting. You're not going to deal. So I don't know if you could have released certain people, like friendships or just connections where you feel like you had to compete or that just brought you issues and drama. You're not connecting to that anymore. You're connecting to past life soulmates as friends at this time. Okay, because I'm not picking up on lovers. Yeah, I'm picking up on, like, friendships, like, social gatherings, like, getting ready to go out, drinking, dancing, clubbing, just having fun, like, traveling, even with the Three of Cups. You're going to have, like, friends to do stuff with after being on, like, a solo journey and having to be strong for a long time. God is sending you, like, a rock of people, two, three, four in a time, like, sending you people that are going to, like, be, like, like, a network. A network, like a network of people. Like, this is so cool. This is so cool. Seven of Pentacles, you could be questioning whether or not you should invest into this. Yeah. Because there's something about how you feel like, mm, you feel like a part of you is like, I want to hold back, even though I prayed for this, because I've been hurt before. But God is sending you exactly what you want. Like, literally, somebody that's going to share with you, people that are going to be, like, equal, equal give and take to you, Sag. Like, it's just about do you want it? What's the four of pentacles? Because I see you having to, like, self-persevere for a long time. You, Sag, like, you wasn't playing with people. Like, you you strong enough to just do by, you could do battle by yourself, queen of wands, king of wands energy. <laughs> like, you bout it. You could handle it. Like, you, you feel like you got it. You're confident, you're strong, you're vivacious, okay? You can know how to manifest. You're really hopeful, you're really prayerful. You know how to let go of things, okay? Or you know how to identify, like, distractions or delays in your life. And this is all about you taking risks towards real love in regards to all areas, all aspects. 444 on the time, as I said this. Sag, this is going to be really happy. This is going to be really beautiful, these, these new connections with the Three of Cups. It's going to be really happy. Like, these are people that could even be in your community. Like, you could do tarot. Okay, these could be people that are going to be really interested in tarot if you do this, okay? Like, they could also be, like, people that could be... Mm.
These are also energies that can help you take off in regards to some type of new business idea. All right, with the Ace of Pentacles. For someone here, you're about to make a lot of money doing tarot. Like, I don't know who you are, but you're about to make a bag. Like, or you could have gotten a reading done and it told you what, what like, where direction you should go towards. You could also be coming into unexpected money, new money, okay? An inheritance, just, uh, like, new money, new opportunities to make money, new financial seeds that are planted that are about to take off and sprout. But it's also something about how these friends are, like, blessings to you. Or they come bearing gifts. Okay, like literally, they're gonna come in. They're gonna come out out of nowhere. Like this person's coming out out of the ocean, out of nowhere. Somebody's gonna come out out of nowhere. You're not gonna see it coming. Okay, beautiful energy. These are not people that want to fight with you either. These are people that stand on their own, just like you, or people that you attracted in by being in your independent, thriving energy. Okay, you are manifesting this. What's the Five of Swords? The Hierophant. So you caught somebody like red-handed, like in a marriage. They could have been trying to take from you and give to someone else. Or this is also like somebody here telling their sins to like God or telling their sins to like a pastor or an advisor trying to get advice to try. Like I'm seeing this here too. God is watching somebody do this. Like somebody could be trying to say they're trying to turn over a new leaf because they got caught red-handed. It could be a Virgo or a Taurus. Okay. This person is, like, regretful of things that they did now, all right, because they feel like you were really, really wise and really swift with, like, identifying things that are toxic and not giving to it or not going towards it or not feeding into it. What's the hermit about? Some of this, like, whoever this is has been studying you. Or you gained some type of hidden knowledge that somebody here was lying about a marriage or lying about their religious beliefs, or lying about, like, believing in God, or, oh, man, like, the two of swords, they never, yeah, somebody here never saw you, like, avoiding them, or being at a stalemate, or looking at them as a liar, or being cold to them, or, like, really just using your discernment with them, like, somebody here never saw you, male or female, like, really acting out of this energy, like, really not giving a damn. Five of Pentacles, like, somebody here is hurting. They feel, like, emotionally left out in the cold. But not only just that, they're feeling financially. Like, you could have helped this person with their finances because you could be a breadwinner in different ways. So God is going to bring you people that are not going to be takers. They're also going to be givers. You could be somebody who's a giver. And you were around somebody who was a fucking taker. The Five of Pentacles, this person is broke, okay? It's over now. It's over now. It's over. It's my turn now. It's over. The game's shut down sorry that's what i'm hearing that's what i'm hearing like it's over you intuitively know that you need to get like you need to move away from somebody somebody is a cheater a liar a con artist they got caught red-handed it's time to go it's time to move forward it's time to get the step in it's time to manifest empress okay you have all these new opportunities that's getting ready to come in yeah somebody here they have to it is a change that's happening whether somebody wants to go through it or not it's happening okay it's happening yeah, yeah, this person is intimidated or scared or jealous or envious or mad or they feel like a wounded soldier because they see that you're about to have somebody that's really on your level or you are bossing up or into a level that they never thought that you were going to be at. And it's because you make quick moves to love yourself, to pour into love, to embrace love, okay, and to drop devil energy. Like, you're not, mm -mm. Whoever this is, they feel like they could have played on like certain childhood trauma or they have childhood trauma or they want to apologize to you now. Now that they feel like you are more free in your life or more like using more logic or feeling more like like happy or more whole or feeling more like vitalized, they want to come in. What's this page of cups? They also, that's the truth. And it's also because you got this bag or this money that you're about to create. Like F that, Sag, okay? F that, okay? F it, okay? This person's only taking action to come rushing in because they see everything is fine in your life. Like, it's a no. Sad, please. Like, it's a no. This person does magic, spell work, dark magic. They manipulate, they lie, they tricks the energy, and they up at night. All they magic they sent your way has backfired. This person's going to sit in this heartbreak, okay? It's like you forgiving this person or you appeasing this person's pain and take that karma off of them. Leave this person exactly where they at. They, they wanted to do this to you. They didn't think anybody was going to catch on or God wasn't watching. Like, what is up with this? Okay, what does Sag need to know? Yeah, karma is coming to somebody, Empress. <laughs> don't you worry. Don't worry. If Even if you don't see it, please know. 
emperor or empress, karma is coming because everything backfired on somebody. What they sent to you got sent right back to them. You have a spiritual reward that's getting ready to come your way. And it's because the way you move at this time, okay, somebody here feels like you're not leaving them, but you are. Or you could be moving away. Yeah, you are 10 steps ahead of the game. Spirit keeps you 10 steps ahead. Okay, you could be connecting to a musician or you could be a musician. You could also be needing to go treat yourself. You were born to do something, so keep doing it. Somebody wanted to put you in the now that you shouldn't be doing it and you should be doing it. Like, I don't, mm -mm. Okay, yeah, you also have it. Somebody here is doing voodoo and witchcraft on you to make you view them as their twin flame, but you have a real twin flame. This is somebody that's trying to spiritually and mentally attack you, and they cheat on you, and cheating is a choice and not a mistake. The spirit's about to make this person know how to behave. Somebody here slept on you, Sag, and that was the worst thing that they could have done. Okay, you have a business idea that you need to trust as well. All the backstabbing things that somebody did to you is coming back towards them, okay? They're also getting readings done on you. Somebody here could be doing something by the water, Okay, they're trying to trap you with a baby for someone here because you have an Egyptian lineage, you are royalty. Okay, they also feel like they're going to need more money to get something done. Somebody here is addicted to drugs and alcohol. They're addicted to it. Okay, my goodness. Yeah, and they're sending you evil eye and black magic and it's being returned to sender. They're trying to think of a master plan because you're heading towards a new person and that's exactly what God wants you to do. Your divine masculine or divine feminine, that emperor, empress, they on the way. If you haven't met this person yet, they're on the way. But it seems like you have other situations that you need to handle at this time. Okay, let's see. What else does Sag need to know? Okay, somebody got bad karma, Sag. The letter S could be significant. It could be an Aquarius. Somebody here is all about illusions. And they tried to do this to you, Sagittarius. Okay, this was somebody who's really, really narcissistic. Or they're a narcissist. Okay, 444, you have angelic, spiritual, and ancestral protection over your life because this was a dark high priest that doesn't listen and follow God at all. They could have went to this person or they they are this energy. Okay, you can expect communication in one to two days. 111 is here. You are attracting in love, peace, money, abundance, and blessings into your life effortlessly. There's also an Aries that could be reaching out in 24 hours. Okay, for someone here, this could also be around Friday where something could be happening. Your spirit guides are going to step in though, so you don't have nothing to worry about. Okay, there is somebody that's waiting. Okay, yeah, you have new love that already is in your life at this time as well. Okay, yeah, you also have your got caught. So somebody here has got caught being deceptive or trying to lie or trying to get over or they're about to. This could also be someone that hit that they're pregnant or hit that they wanted to secretly get you pregnant. Okay, but you caught wind to or get pregnant by you. Okay, this is a harlot or a whoremonger, a Jezebel, a Pharisee spirit. Let go. Your ancestors are all around you, Sagittarius. The letter G could be significant, or you are this G. Okay, the letter L could be significant. You have new love that's coming in. Yeah, somebody's going to jail for doing this to you. Literally, three, two, one on the timer, as I said this. It's a countdown to it. Okay, you don't have no soul contract with this person. Somebody wanted you to be with them because you have blessings coming in from the divine. You are blessed and highly favored. Yeah, somebody was trying to use a jealous karmic in the mix, and that's not working anymore. Okay, job well done for you, Sagittarius. Whoever this is was trying to steal money for themselves or for this karmic. Okay, and it didn't work or it's not going to work. Which is another reason why this person's intimidated because you keep coming into new money. They keep trying to put you in some type of hardship or trying to play on your career or your assets, but you keep coming out on top. Okay, you could be very, very empathic. You're about to get a new car. Uh, yes, you are. A new Lambo, a BMW, a Benz, a Bentley, a Porsche, or an Audi. Whoever this is, they try to act like they're envious and dangerous. They not. Okay, or you don't need to be worried about this envious, dangerous person. This is a manipulative energy that you don't need to be worried about. Spirit's going to handle it. You're about to meet somebody who wants to spoil you. Or this could be this big player energy that could be trying to spoil you. But be mindful because this is devil energy. Okay, they're not a good person at all. They're being utilized by down below. They also want to put you in some type of runner chaser energy. So be mindful of this too. Okay, yeah, somebody here is pregnant, and it could be you, okay, for someone here. This could also be you pregnant with new ideas, Sagittarius. Like, you could be pregnant with new ideas that you're planting, and they could be really taking it off. Somebody's child's mother or child's father is the problem. They try to, like, attack you in different ways. Okay, you have a blessing of wealth that's getting ready to come in. The letter V could be significant, or the letter U could be significant. Okay, the X only wanted money. You could have dropped this person. 
Yeah, your old love. You don't want to deal with this person. This is also someone that's gay on the down low or bisexual. Okay, and they could have hid this from you. Okay, somebody here also got their mother involved. Do they have some type of childhood trauma because of their mother? I'm so sorry, man. Okay, you're about to meet your twin flame. Okay, for someone here, your old love could also be trying to come back around the time your twin flame is coming in. I'm also seeing here just be patient. Or for someone here, your old love could be your twin flame, but it's not someone that cheated on you or abused you. It could just be an old love from your past. I'm talking about you, Earth Angel. Virgo energy is here. Libra is here. Leo. Okay. I'm also seeing hit the letter M. You're about to receive confirmation. Yes. The letter J could be significant as well. Okay. Somebody's sister involved. Either you or theirs. Somebody has their sister involved. Okay. Yeah. Your plans are working or somebody sees your plans are working, Sagittarius. Yeah, and that's why you have good karma that's coming your way. Somebody here is also trying to pop up like magic because of this. They want to pull up on you, smoke with you, drink with you, dance with you, have fun with you. But spirits like open your heart to new love. Open your heart to someone different because you have true love and marriage that's coming in. You also have a date night that's coming with someone. Okay. Yeah, in the next 72 hours, your angels and your ancestors, they're going to be pissed off about something that's going to happen or something that's going on. Or they about to handle somebody because somebody here keeps trying to play with you. Okay, and they're telling this person to stop. What's the advice? People just don't listen. So some scary stuff got to happen. What's the advice, Holy Spirit? For Sag, please and thank you. Okay. Groove of unity. Bind energies in the unified sanctuary of the groove. Fostering interconnected harmony among all beings. Okay, and on the other side, unity blooms. Foster harmony and connection within your community, nurturing bonds that bring us together. Okay, so it's all about bonds at this time. Connecting, and I see that with the Three of Cups. That's beautiful energy, Sad. So they're saying welcome that in. Don't be scary. Don't be scared of it. God about to send you the right people that are going to, like, really love on you. Okay, and it's not going to be fake. It's not. Yeah, they want you to pay attention to the red flags. Okay, I'm picking up on that deceptive energy that could be trying to come through. Okay, the signs are cautioning you not to trust something. This could be with someone that's actually childish or someone that you have, you have children or someone that you could have children with. Okay, you also have a soulmate that's coming in. Okay, so this is also like you could be needing to pay attention to certain red flags around a soulmate. Tell me about the pay attention to the red flags. Okay. Mm. This is somebody from your past, okay? They're trying to forgive and learn, or this is someone that needs to heal from their, like, their parents. They need to heal from their past. Or this is someone from your past that you need to be really mindful of, honestly. Yeah, you could have deep chemistry with this person. I'm seeing here they have deep chemistry with you, but there could be religious differences. Like, they may not believe in God, or they don't, like, they could be religious, you could be spiritual, and they, that's an issue to them. What's this soulmate about? Spirits like love yourself first. Like don't settle for somebody that makes you feel like like off for being you, okay? What's soulmate about? Okay, be very mindful of a soulmate energy that wants to come in. This could be the same energy. This could be a soulmate, okay? Literally. That you could have deep chemistry with, you could be trying to, you could be back and forth with this person, forgiving, learning, going back and forth. You guys could break up and make up. Their children could be involved here, but there's codependency here. This is someone that wants to come in and make the effort, but spirits like, do not hold on to this at all. Okay, don't hold on to it. Free yourself. Like this is someone that's real, real, real toxic. That's why I said, let me clarify this. Okay, let me clarify this. Somebody here trying to block actual like loving energies from coming in. They're trying to, like, play on the energy and play on your energy. They could even be trying to manipulate your energy, like, to confuse you, to make you view them as someone that's good for you. No, Sag. Mm -mm. What is, what's, who's helping, Sagittarius? Okay, you have Archangel Haniel, and you have Guru Ramdas, and you have Commander Ashtar at the bottom. This is you being a star seed. Space travel. Okay, and galactic guides. You have people in the universe that are helping you, okay, in the heavens that are helping you. Real talk. Archangel Haniel is about friendship, moon cycles, and you having a deep psychic ability, which is enhancing at this time. Okay, you also have your Guru Ramdas. This is about being humility, like being humble, 
okay? You, your spiritual practice and also you elevating in this. Get ready to succeed, Sag. The number seven, 26, 27, 72, 62. The number eight, August, okay? September, the number nine, and July. Any of those dates or months could be significant to you, okay? And let's get the advice. What's that advice for Sag? I am always guided, okay? And how I feel is okay. I don't need to explain it. No, you don't. You also have here, all of my emotions are part of my human experience. And you have here, today caring for my energy is my first priority. I know that's right. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Sag. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.